It's working this time. Okay, so we are going to go over one point perspective. So perspective is what something looks like from your point of view. Um, so in this case, we are looking straight down a street. Um, the horizon line is where the sky meets the ground. We need that for one point perspective. And when we're doing one point pers perspective, it all disappears into one point. So we can see how all these lines meet back there at that one point on the horizon. Okay, so for your project, um, you can do this uh, with pencil and paper, but draw these lines really lightly so you can erase them, or you can use Google Drawing. You'll just do the same thing either way. So select a line, and you're going to draw a line that goes halfway through your page. That's your horizon line. Um, if you hold shift, it will make the line straight and you want it to go all the way across. That's the horizon. And then we're gonna make four lines that meet at a point. So these are our guiding lines. We will delete them later, um, but they need to be there so that we can see how to put together our drawing. So all of our lines are gonna meet at that one disappearing point on the horizon. And for these guiding lines, we're gonna do them to the corners. So they meet right there on the horizon and off to the corner. They meet right here on the horizon and go off to the corner. And meet right here, at the same point, our one point perspective, our disappearing point, and off to the corner. Okay. All right. Um, so we're gonna have this be a street or a railroad track. So next you're gonna add in um, the sidewalk. So it's gonna go to that same disappearing point, but it'll come in a little bit from the edge. Okay. And then you can add like the dotted lines down the middle of the road, or you can add um, Lines going across if you want it to be a railroad, up to you. But they would meet at one line and go to the other. Okay, and you'd continue to do that. Okay, so first we're gonna put in some um, lamp post. So to do that, we're gonna do a square. And you're gonna make it go from the top guiding line, from the top guiding line down to this bottom guiding line. And then you're gonna do that again. You'll need at least three to make it look realistic. You could probably fit more than that in though. So it goes from this top guiding line down to this one, the same point. So they're gonna look like they're the same height, but moving backwards in space. So another shape, square. Okay. And they also get smaller as they go back. So already we can see the illusion that these are moving backwards in space, right? Let's add in one more, shapes, square. There we go. All right, so same thing. It goes from the top guiding line down to the bottom guiding line. Okay, so we have our guiding lines. We have our street posts that helped us practice making things that go back into space, go back into the distance. Um, you will have yours lined up a little better than mine. I'm in a rush. All right, so to add in trees, you could either draw trees or you could go to insert image, search the web, pick out a tree. That one's nice, insert. There she is, okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing where we make it go from the top guiding line down to this bottom one. And then you can copy and paste.
All right, so there are trees disappearing off into the sunset. Um, you can add in other things if you want. You can add in new guiding lines if you want to. So you can do a line. Um, let's go. So it goes always to the vanishing point, always, always to the vanishing point. And say so you want to make something that's smaller. You can do a guiding line that's shorter. And then you can insert something else. Let's do it here. Let's do it real short. Okay. And then we can do like insert image, search the web. Um, what do we think? We think we can do among us. Okay. Insert. All right, and we'll have this Among Us guy go from this top guiding line. Maybe he'll be on the sidewalk, so down to this lower guiding line. And do the same thing where copy. Paste. And then we can move him way down. All right, let's have him way off in the distance. But he's going to follow that same guiding line. On both sides. And then once we have everything where we want it, we can delete out these guiding oop, with these guiding lines. There we go. Backspace, click on it till it's highlighted and backspace. All right. Yeah, we're getting somewhere.